Hello everybody and welcome back to another epic coin hunting video. Today we're looking at these five dateless nickels using the microscope, the pluggable microscope. I used this in my first video which you can check out here. I recently unprivated it. It used to be privated because I don't know. Anyways, it's unprivate again, so it should be right up here if I link it correctly. Um, yeah, it's a good microscope. And we're going to check out two V nickels and three buffalo nickels. I'll put the V nickels last because I think those ones are going to be a bit harder. So this should be a pretty short video, probably like five, ten minutes long at most. Five minutes probably, though. And... Uh, let's start with this one. Alright. So, as you can see, it's it's very worn down. I got all these, uh, 25 cents each at a coin shop in their world coins bin. Even though these aren't world coins. It looks like this one's got a uh, D-Mint mark on it. Right down there. From Denver Mint. But as you can see, these things are just worn down who knows when. So, let's see here. I'll get this pulled up on the screen, get it all focused and stuff. So you can see the Denver Mint mark right there. It looks really nice on the screen. So I'm going to flip it over now. I'll give you guys a look on this camera before I put it up on the screen. So I don't see anything with the naked eye, but let's see if we can see anything on the screen. All right. So, I can't see anything at the first look. I'll look at all these after I uh, turn off the cameras, too, just to make sure I didn't miss anything. But it looks like there you can still see the F from the Incuse design of the designer initials. Um... But that's pretty much all I can see, other than all these scratches. You can see all the scratches. Look at that. There's an X there. It's just all scratched up anyways. I'll take that one out. So no date on that, except for it is a Denver Mint, which means it could be rarer. But it's probably not too, too rare. It's most likely... Uh, Probably got like a decent amount of mintage. Anyways, next coin, next coin. This one is, I think this is the most worn down out of uh, all the buffalo nickels at least. And it's even got a little chunk out of it up here. And then on the next, next side, the reverse. I don't think there's a date on it, but you can see it's been hit with something up there. And it's worn down entirely. There's barely any details on it. Other than, you know, like the big things that are like the buffalo and the face and whatnot. But other than that, there's basically no details on it. So let's check for a mint mark. I don't know. That looks like there could be a mint mark, maybe an S, but I don't think there is. Hmm. Let me give it a little look. So here's this one. I'll put that on the screen too, if I can. So there we go. You can see this one. It's a demon mark. 
There could be a mint mark there. I don't know. It looks like there could be an S. Really small S. But. I don't know. Let me know your opinions on that. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Let me know all your opinions on all these coins. Also, this looks like it's going to be a longer video. Because it's already at 5 minutes. Uh, Alright, here's the where the date should be. And I don't see anything. All right, so that coin's done. Yeah, let me know all your opinions on these coins because especially the ones that I cannot definitely get all right, next one. All right. You can see there's something left on there that you might be able we might be able to get a date on it. And there is no mint mark, but this is also very worn down again. But this is probably the least worn down one because there's something still there. So we'll just check, make sure there's no mint mark on the screen. I'll leave a link for the uh, the pluggable microscope in the description and in the comments too. It's a very good microscope, highly recommend. So yeah, there's definitely no mint mark on this one. All right. Let's flip it over onto the date side. Alright, and here we go. I think there might be something here. Because you can see that could be like a 3 or something. I think it's a 3. And maybe a 2. 2. If I can do it with the fancy pen thing. 2. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, a two and a three, so this could be a 1923 with no mint mark. Which would mean that this has a mintage of 35.7 million. 35.7 million of these, which, that's a lot. <laughs> so... It is very likely that this could be a 1923. All right, I'll put this off to the side. So that's a 1923. Let me know your opinions if what what you think it could be. I don't think it's a 1913 or a 1933, but it could be. If it was a 1930, oh wait, they didn't make any 1933. Uh, so it's not a 1933, and the likelihood that it's not a it's a 1913 is probably pretty low. So, all right, that leaves the two V nickels. This one's got some weird spotting on it, so, and then it's got 18.8, and then I think that's an eight at least. I can't see it very well, but I think it's an 1880 something. So if we can't get a full date, we can at least get 1880 something. And there would be no mint mark on these. They didn't uh, make these at any of the branch mints until 1912, I believe. So I'll put that under the microscope. Wow, that looks really good. Blown up like that. Here it is. So you can see. One, eight. And then probably another eight. And then you might not be able to see it, but it looks like there's a seven on the screen. You might not be able to see it because it's very, very faint. And YouTube doesn't really do a good job with their compression and whatnot. 
So you probably can't see it, but it looks to me like there might be a seven there. Let me see what the mintages on that are. I'll put this down for a second. Uh, v nickel mintages. That, if this was in 1887, that would mean that this had a mintage of 15 million ish. So, not a very rare coin, but still, if we can get, if that date is definite, that's, at least we got a date out of it. Alright, I'll put that off to the side with the other one that we definitely, almost definitely have date on. And then here for the last one, this one, this one also looks like it could have an 1880 something. Ooh, it looks like on the reflection I can actually see something. Looks like it could be an 1888. Here, I'll put it on the scope. Uh, here. It could be an 1890-something. This looks like it could be a 9, but it looks more like an 8 to me. But I can't see anything else other than that. All right. Well, at least it was a success. We did get one possible date. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments, wherever it is for you. Most For most people, it should be down there. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Tell me what you think the dates were, mint marks, whatnot. And I'll see you next week. Bye. Uh, also, end screen, there should be some links to some videos like here and here. And then subscribe is right here. Please subscribe. It helps us. Also, leave a like down there for most people. And yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye.